Jordan's RC's here with you guys, and uh, I've been away for a while, and I'll show you why. Boom! So this is my new display center where I'll be displaying all my cars and things like that. And of course, I still got the track and the workshop over there. But long story short, I've been away, and this is why I've been kind of cleaning things up, and I've also been doing a lot of pan car practicing. So, so guys, like I said. Been doing a lot of practicing with the pan car as well. I found some new tire sauce that I've been using. I realized the tires that I have, I have some new ones I want to order, but the ones that I have been using aren't exactly brand new, so a good way to get them broken back in and good for getting good grip is putting tire sauce on them, like kind of reviving them. So I've been doing that, and wow, what a difference. Now, again, I have not made a lot of videos of this running yet, and there's a reason for it. I haven't really had a way to video it. So, if you guys are ever interested in having a really good radio combo, which if you look in through my videos, my other ones, you'll see a review on this video on this radio. But now I have got the camera mount on the top, as you can see, fully adjustable for your phone right here. It's nice and tight. I like how it's all nice threaded all the way through there. You can mount it from the bottom as well as you can mount it from where it is down here at the bottom. And this piece here is all nice and metal and really sturdy and it's great. You can move it around if you have to. You can move it like that. You can do anything with it. It's awesome. So now that I have this, I can now use my car and videotape what I'm doing. And I don't have to have somebody else helping me or, you know, some kind of... I've seen a lot of guys have a lot of glued contraptions down here on the bottom, like hot glue and like metal wire and sh and stuff like that, holding on, holding their phone on. And I just didn't really want to do that. I like my radio personally, so, and I knew I could get this, but it was way more expensive if you get the kit. Well, I got the radio separately, and I bought this after for twelve dollars instead of the extra like fifty you pay with the whole whole bundle. So it's really cheap and it works great. I love it. So now that I have this, you guys will be seeing a lot more videos of the pan car running as well as the SCX24 over here, the creature truck. And don't forget the new buggy is still on its way. Uh, there was a delay. It should be here in three days and that's the team associated RB10. So when I get that, I will be doing a full unbox and review and torture test and everything else above that and hopefully go racing with it soon. So anyways, if you guys want a wicked radio with a wicked camera mount that you don't have to build, there you go. That's on Amazon. 12 bucks. <clears throat> so back to the pan car. Let me get this body off for you. This is my one of the bodies that I did get with this car and it's in the best shape. I like it personally. I like the Le Mans style bodies. It's one that's another reason why I wanted to get into pan car racing is because of the Le Mans style. Very cool. So there you go guys. So I've done a little bit of stuff since you've seen it last. So definitely I've been working on getting the tires more grippier and wow it makes a difference when you use tire sauce. Holy mo Wow, my gear that I made, my spur gear that I made to match up to this gear, because I didn't have a gear for it, works awesome. Wow, very impressed with that and very happy that I was able to create that and it actually works. I did adjust, the car did sit completely flat, now like that. Now if you see it kind of sits, kind of like it's got a bow at the back of the chassis and the reason for that is I find that when it's sitting completely flat, it just skids out everywhere. And when you put some bow into it, these rear tires have no choice but to put the power right down to the floor. And it goes, man. Wow. So I did that, as well as I got the fan in there, finally, sitting there at a nice angle. And it keeps that speed controller just perfect. Now I redid the switch too, and I moved it right here so I can just reach under the body and doop, nice and simple. I don't have to go digging around for it as well as I move the receiver right here 
don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, right there, and then the cords come in through the front and go right into it. There's my antenna. Also keeps the helps keep the battery in that tray right there in that little slot keeps the battery in there better but i'm still having troubles trying to get the battery to stand it flies out once in a while but i don't i still can't find like uh, like i said in my last video about this car a lot of the stuff for these cars are like secretive nobody wants to tell their secrets i don't know why especially for gear ratios and stuff and what they call rollout but Whatever, I figured out my own rollout, and you know what, it's, it's pretty badass, other than the fact that, you know, if you're not used to driving RCs, this thing will take off pretty quickly, really quickly. But, it does have a nice foam bumper on there, and so far I haven't been able to break anything. I did put a bit of tape there, just in case if I, like, scrape against anything, especially like the metal floor lip in my kitchen. But so far, it doesn't have any scratches on it. Whatever I have hit hasn't done anything to it. Oh, and I had to adjust the front. So, right here, the front knuckles that come off for the steering arms, for the servo. It um, was flipped around this way, and it was so bad, and it was so tight, that when you went full left or full right, the tires would literally stop moving because they would be rubbing up against the plastic knuckle but on that side on both sides too and it would just like it'd be going nice and smooth you'd turn and the car would just slide i was like what so once i figured out it was because these were rubbing all i did was i flipped them from the back to the front and it angles them more so that when you're fully turned like that it's not rubbing see that still rolls freely that still rolls freely. So that was a good little trick there. Other than that, I mean, that's about it. It runs good, I love it. I can't wait to hit the road in the summertime and do some speed runs with it and hopefully find some guys that are still racing these things. But other than that, let me, uh, let me plug this battery in here wherever it went. Now I have if you're wondering why it says medium on there is because I have a few different two cell lipos and a couple are bigger and ma and stuff and some are smaller so this one I put medium on it because you know what it's it's pretty medium it's, it doesn't go too fast and it doesn't and it doesn't go too slow it's just you know it's pretty medium but long story short so that's what I got fits in there nicely like that as you can see Actually, that one fits really nicely. The other ones don't even fit that good. Hmm. Interesting. But, plug it in. Turn my radio on. <clears throat> oh, if you guys can see, I don't... Ooh. I don't know if it's going to let you see, Mike. Yeah. It's, it's pretty, pretty scary right now. As you can see, just even the littlest tiny bit of throttle. A little black line at the bottom of my screen moving. Quarter throttle, not even. And she's ready to rock. Full throttle, and it's just scary. It actually blows quite a bit of wind out of the back of these wheels because they're slotted. And it's kind of like a hairdryer. It's quite intense, actually. And it steers so quickly, too. Like, yeah. There you go guys, so it is in running condition. I'm all ready to go and do some videos now as I got my new mount for my radio here. So I'll try tomorrow, hopefully, and get some footage of this thing ripping around and having fun. Again, it is snowy like crazy still, so I can't really, this car isn't really an outdoor car, so can't really get any outdoor shots of it yet, but soon, hopefully, the, when the buggy gets here though, we're gonna be going outside and we'll try it without the paddles and then we'll try it with the paddles and see how that goes 
that should be really cool i've seen a video of it already with paddles on it and it is wow really cool so we'll have fun with that and as it goes for this guy here i'm going to be taking the rear steer back out of it because i just i don't even use it why bother put my metal rear end back in and then have some fun with that and then I'm going to be probably using the Subaru Impreza model I have and building a hard body build for the other axial truck I have. So I'll do some more footage on that too as well. So yeah, if you guys really like this video, uh, you know, leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you.